Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up a Plex server with torrenting. So basically you're going to be able to download files, put them in your server on your computer, and then you're going to be able to watch them on other devices. This is one of the most common setups that you can really find people doing. I'll be making videos as well for MB as well as Jellyfin if you're interested in those ones. I've also made a video I could put uh, here on the screen talking about how to make this as an automated solution. So you could download three or four different programs that will kind of automate the process for you. You're able to search and just kind of install any kind of file you want, but it does require more setup and kind of um, work. So this is more of a simple solution. You just download each torrent individually, it goes in your server and you can watch it and so on. This is what a lot of people do. So let's go ahead and get into it right now. But guys, first you might want to check out a word from one of my favorite affiliates that will make it so you can't get doxxed as easily. It will also reduce robocalls. And guys, if you're interested, make sure to check out VPNTierless.com. VPNs are pretty much what help stay you protected um, while torrenting to anonymize your IP. I'll be discussing that more in the video as well. But here's a quick word from one of my favorite affiliates. Are you guys ever worried about getting doxxed? I know I am. That's why I use a service called Incogni. Now, I've reviewed almost all the major data broker removal tools and I found that this one is the best it's the cheapest and it also has a really good family plan as well if you use my link in the description down below you should be able to get 50% off Incogni I have not been sponsored by Incogni for some time but they are one of my top affiliates and they're one of my favorite products here on the channel because they prevent it so you don't get doxxed it removes your information from websites so if someone does find your IRL name they won't be able to connect it to your address phone number and even your family members additionally this can also give you less robocalls since companies aren't able to find your internet just like on the um, they're not able to just find it like it's some public message board so if you guys want to help support the channel and get one of my favorite products click the link in the description down below so guys the first thing you're going to want to do of course is download Plex as a media server option um, pretty much what you're going to do is just go to plex.tv media server you could google that if you want i'll put a link in the description down below as well so pretty much what you do is you just um, download this all right guys so what you're going to do is download um, the file here um, and just you're going to choose the distribution so we're just going to go ahead and click this option and it's going to start downloading so you're just going to run through the setup and now you're going to want to put it where you want your files to be so for now we're just put it here as normal um, but we'll kind of show you how to set up your um, your kind of um, organization. So we're just going to run through this install process. Now that we're done, we're going to click Launch Plex Media Server, and it's going I'm going to uh, launch it, and we'll show you how to set it up. So the interesting thing about Plex Media Server is probably what confuses a lot of new users is it's kind of one of those things. It's not really like a fully fledged application in some ways. It doesn't like pop up. It doesn't really set you through any processes. It just kind of you install it, and you're like, well now what and that's kind of what you're probably thinking but what you do is you go down to the taskbar and you're pretty much going to go to open plex now plex media server is basically just a lightweight application on your computer that will um kind of open up the browser more so than being an actual application so it looks like i might have opened it up too early it's running startup maintenance tasks so you might have that issue so guys not really sure what happened there uh i just restarted my computer and it seemed to be working so pretty much now what you're going to do is set up an account with plex to get things started so now what you're going to do is set up a test or a, an account so for this video we're just going to call it a test um there we go it wasn't let me why is it not let me put in the name um younger kid uh none test there we go all right so there we go um we don't really want live tv but we will allow downloads um so here we go you could share with your watch history so that's something you could kind of think about later on so here are some of my former accounts so pretty much what you're going to do from here is um go to this place here and you'll kind of start from the main kind of thing so for the purpose of this video i'm going to make a folder called um, let's just call it um, media or let's just call it media and here we're going to set up um, a couple different folders so let's go ahead and show you on the different camera so we're going to do um, we're going to do downloads and then we're going to do um, tv shows and then we're going to do movies and you can even do uh, i guess music if you want something like music music there you go 
All right, so here are our different things. So now what you need to do is point your torrents to go to this specific file right here. Um, that's where you're gonna want your torrents to go. So we'll show you how to do that in a second. So the purpose of, uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be using Qubit Torrent. It's one of the best torrent applications. Um, I actually have it anonymized with NordVPN SOX5 proxy. Basically what a SOX5 proxy is, it's just the URL that connects you to a remote server. Um, so with NordVPN, I'll be putting a link in the description down below. You should be able to get four extra free months with my link and a discount. SOX5 proxy is included with their VPN access. Now it's pretty similar to a VPN. You just don't actually have to connect and open up the application. Um, so you just enter in this address after entering the um, buying a subscription and you go into like the account panel and you set up the manual configuration um, to give this um, login information you'll just put socks by proxy entering an address that's close to your location there's a couple different locations we could put on the screen right here from nordvpn socks by proxy list port 1080 um, check these things and enter in your login credentials and then you just go to the bottom and click uh, apply and then okay and then from there your um, IP address will be anonymized so no one will know what you're downloading um, so what we want to do now is go to um, options and then we want to go to downloads and you want to make sure to set them to that folder so right now it sets them to here but you're going to want to set them just to uh, this folder um, that we started here we'll, we'll put them in here so that's where you want them for now so guys one issue I had is that I had some like uh, other accounts that I guess were like the main account of Plex. So if you've ever installed it before and you're trying to make like a new account, just be aware that you need to go into like the admin account to get to this like settings content library and you're just gonna access that by going up to the little settings thing at the top here. It's gonna be right here at this little this little wrench and then it'll give you access to the side panel if you can't see to access that side panel that is why so pretty much what we want to do is go all the way down to manage you want to go all the way you're going to want to go all the way down to manage um, go to the libraries and then we're going to add our library and you're pretty much just going to do um, let's say you're going to do uh, um, movies so what we're going to do is click movies and now we're going to go to our desktop like i uh, made that so let's go ahead and find that so one easy way you could do that is just go to that thing, copy the address like this, and then we could enter it here. So that way you could just find it. Um, so there we go. It added the media folder. So what we wanted to do is just do uh, movies. So that will add the specific movies file. So then we have movies right here. This is like older. So let's just get rid of this. Um, so delete movies and then we'll delete these ones too. And you're pretty much just gonna do that for each one of the folders you do want. Um, so that is where you will have it. Um, so, so specifically for this one, what you're going to want to do too as well. So since Qubit is going to put in that download folder, um, I do believe with Plex, you do have to manually migrate them to each folder you want them to be. Now, something like I said before, the automated media server will kind of move them around for you. Um, but so let's say, for example, um, it's in here, the movie you wanted, you're going to have to move it to the movies folder and then it will kind of sync up with Plex and be in the right kind of um, location there. So we could go ahead and add, um, you know, TV shows and we'll do that the same way. Oh, there we go. And there we go. It did find it. So there we go. And now once you do have stuff in those folders, it's going to pop up at kind of like in your library. And if you want to make it sync, you're just going to go to update libraries and that should make it sync. There are a couple other settings you probably do want to enable. Like if you go to the settings library functionality, you can do scan my library automatically. Um, so it will be uh, updated automatically when changes to the library folders are detected. This one would be good as well. Um, you could empty trash automatically. So you don't really need to worry about that. Most of the other things to be default are fine so once you download something it'll go to the downloads folder you just move it to this perspective folder you do want and it'll be available on your media server and now basically what you do from there is you're just going to download plex onto your device that you want to stream it to log into your plex account and then you'll have access to your plex media server as long as your computer whatever device is on that you're on um, with you'll be able to access those files now guys, like I said, I did make more advanced tutorials doing automation and various things with um, MB, but the process is gonna be very similar with Plex. If you're interested in setting up MB or Jellyfin, I'll also make perspective tutorials for those coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Check out NordVPN if you wanna use the, my most recommended option since it does provide SOX5 proxy access. It's an extremely fast VPN as well with over 111 different server countries and my fastest VPNs tested are my fastest speeds tested for downloading torrents. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video very soon.